mi gente que era que hay, que Dios me lo bendiga y que nuestra Santa Muerte me lo siga bendiciendo en el día de hoy. Muchas bendiciones. I'm going to do this video on Santa Muerte Candle Readings. Okay? Hit the subscribe button. Hit that bell. Okay? Subscribe to my video, to my channel. I would appreciate it. All right? So, real quick, because everybody asked me to do a candle video explaining how this works. So, this is the way I, you know, read my candles. Okay? First of all, let me explain something. A lot of people, I see a lot of people dressing their candles with a lot of herbs and a lot of this and a lot of that. That's fine, you know, it looks cute, okay? But when you're working and you want to break and unblock spells and negativity and all that, you know, I suggest not to use, you want to sprinkle a little bit of herb, fine. But me personally, I do not do that, okay? Why? Because you put some herb in a candle, light up the candle, the herbs get on fire, your candle turns black. So, is your candle really telling you what's going on, or did it just get black because the herb got on fire? Right? You gotta be, you gotta use common sense. Bottom line is common sense. All right. So, personally, the way I do it is, remember, me, I get my candles from wholesalers. So it goes from the person that's doing them to packing them to the warehouse. But when you buy a candle from Obotanica, a lot of people go and this is what they do. And they put it back. They grab it, they look at it, they put it back. Okay? So now, that person's energy, that person vibes, negative, positive, whichever way you want to see it, it's on that candle. You take it home, you light it up, boom. You know what I'm saying? So the way I do my candles is... I have an oil, a balsamo, that I prepared, that I leave on my altar, so it consagrarse, so it can get blessed. And what I do is, when I buy a candle, when I take a candle for me, I take it and I pass it all over the candle. Okay? I pass it all over the candle, and I put a little drop inside the candle. If that. Okay? Then, before I light the candle, I say a prayer. I invoke my Santa Muerte. Dios Padre Todopoderoso, Creador del Cielo de la Tierra, de todo lo visible, invisible, Señor, le pedimos permiso para invocar a la Santa Muerte. And I pass the candle to my body, all over, all over, round, all over my body, body. And I say, this is not only a candle, this is my body and spirit of, and I say my name. And I do that nine times, okay? Nine times I do that. So, once I do that, I take the candle, I take the candle, put it down, and I take my DNA, which is my saliva, and I put it around the candle. There's nothing better than to put your DNA on the candle. Okay? Now, if you're doing a candle work for someone, then you cannot do that. So what you do is you cleanse the candle with the oil, and then you place a pitcher in the bottom. Say this is a picture of a person. You place it in the bottom, or you can wrap it on the candle. So then you sometimes want to know that you're doing a reading for a person, a candle work for a person. So, now, this candle is mine, okay? Look how clear that candle is. This candle is mine. This candle is for a customer, okay? It's for one of my sisters. So, the way I read the candle is, the suit, the black suit, is on top, and as it goes down, it clears up, right? Mine is clear from top to bottom, okay? This is a great candle. It did what it had to do, okay? This one, the soup is on top, and it clears down, meaning it unblocked whatever negativity, whatever work, whatever mal de ojo that person has, okay? That's why the suit is from the top to here, and then it clears up, okay? Now, if the suit was from here, clear, and then dark in the bottom, that means that they're working on that person, okay? They're doing brujo, chiseria, they're working on them, bad vibe, bad energy, all right? And things like that. Now, if the suit, if this was clear and then black, 
okay? It means that they starting to work on her or him. They starting the process. The work is being sent to them, okay? If it's from top to bottom, I'm gonna say it again. If it's from top to bottom, bottom, it means that they're working on the person, okay? A lot of negativity, a lot of negative vibes, etc., etc. If the suit is from here down and then it clears up, means that the work that they're doing on the person has been unblocked. The candle did its job. Okay, it's always good to do another candle work to make sure it gets like this, or prepare a baño, etc., etc. Okay, do a cleanse on the person, on the client. Now, if the suit is from here clear and black down, it means that they're starting to work on the person. They're sending the work, they're starting the work, okay? If the candle breaks, then you know you got a problem, okay? If the candle, and I don't mean that, you know, that the, 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 the fire moved to the shift to, to, to the candle and the candle started getting rid of it. Common sense, if the flame is on the candle, the candle's gonna break. Okay, this is why I like to use great, good candles, thick candles, okay? Not the dollar ones, good candles. Okay, so like that, that flame can stay in the middle. As you can see, this one is right in the middle. They didn't move, and it does its work, okay? So this is my candle, nice and clear, and this is a customer's, okay? So it's not bad, because it's been unblocked, meaning it's good to do another candle work, a black one, black one, okay? And uh, a cleanse a meat cleanse or something, one thick cleanse to get the job all done. So like that, her candle could be this clear and she could be mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually focused. Okay, mi gente? And this is the way I read my candles, all right? And again, I don't put herbs, I don't put 101 things in the candle because common sense. You put herbs in the candle, you light it up, herbs turn up, they get hot, they start burning, your candle turn black. So now you start to think, you start to tweak, oh my God, they're doing work on me, they're doing this on me, they're doing that on me. But what you fail to realize is that the herbs got on fire and it turned your candle black. So you can't get a, a positive reading. You can't get a good reading, you know? So the best way is get your balsamo, get your oil, okay? You can follow me on Instagram, underscore hijo de la Santa Muerte, underscore. Okay, you can DM me there. You could uh, send me messages here. Um, or you could email me, hijo de la santa muerte at yahoo.com. I prepare those oils, okay? And what I do is I put a little bit of oil in my hand and I clean the candle, okay? I might put a little bit on top. If that, I put my DNA. I swipe my finger on my tongue and I put the DNA on the candle and I light it up. But before I light it up, I clean my body with it. Remember, clean your body with it, everything, top to bottom, okay? And you put the candle to your chest and you say a prayer. You let your DNA, you let your your breath hit the candle. And then you light it up. Okay, mi gente? Yo me lo bendiga. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that bell. Subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it. Follow me on Instagram. Hijo de la Santa Muerte. Underscore. Hijo de la Santa Muerte. Underscore. Okay, you can send me messages there. You can check out a lot of few things that I have on my page. Okay? get to know each other if you have any questions i'm always willing to answer questions okay and um and that's about it my people all right enjoy the rest of your night stay safe out there okay yo me lo bendiga y que la santa muerte me lo siga bendiciendo a todo el mundo chao